So today's video is going to be a little bit of a throwback video. We're taking it back, we're doing an OG 2000 and 12 video and that is my empties empties slash crap that I'm getting rid of or like giving away to friends because I don't like it They suck. So it's like an empties slash products. I don't like but first of all How many of you guys remember this bag? I still have this freaking bag. It's Embarrassing honestly, it's like so crusty and the bottom is like really gross. Also, it's literally almost midnight right now My makeup is hella expired. I am super super sleepy But I just downed a bunch of coffee probably a really bad idea and now I'm ready to film this video <laughs> Leave me a comment down below if you like these OG type of videos like do you still like empties? Are they still your thing or not really that much? Also, I have not been styling my hair at all like I've been so lazy I haven't wanted to put gel in it or anything I honestly just keep doing these low buns and calling it a day. Also, by the way, shout out to our Del Alma collection that just launched at Light's label. This is my favorite Krunik in the world. Shout out to What the Mikado who inspired this collection. And if you are into all things Zodiac, check out lightslabel.com. But anyway, let's jump in. Okay, I've gone through like 17 of these boxes. This is the Curl Smith Ultimate Lengths 30 Day Therapy High Potency Nutrition Pills. This has keratin, biotin, collagen, a bunch of really great ingredients, and I honestly swear by these pills. I take them every single day. Obviously, consult with your doctor before you take any sort of vitamin, but this works wonders for me. I see an incredible difference in my hair when I use this, and honestly, I started noticing a difference just three weeks into taking them. My hair started growing a lot faster. This is literally a magic pill. I love this so much. I will repurchase forever. I finished a super, super, super pricey hair mask. This is the Gisu. Actually, I don't know how to say this brand. It is too fancy for me, but it's their honey infused hair mask. And honestly, it's a very, very pricey hair mask, but it is so yummy it smells incredible like it smells very luxe and rich and fancy and it honestly does make your hair incredibly soft i haven't checked to see if this has any silicone in it because i don't use products with silicone in my hair i don't think it does but i have to double check it was really good i don't know if i would repurchase it simply because it is so expensive but i did really enjoy it while i had it so i might repurchase it sometime in the future i don't know because i have a bunch of other hair masks that i like a little bit more that are a bit cheaper but i did like how soft it made my hair and how it made my hair smell it was really really good not gonna lie something that was expensive but not really good honestly it's not that it's a bad face mist. I just have other setting sprays that I like way more than this. This is the Dior Forever Perfect Fix Set Refresh and Hydrate. It's supposed to be a long wearing setting spray, but honestly, I don't find this to extend my makeup at all. Honestly, I feel like it just wets my face and that's it. There's honestly nothing special about it. I've only used this like three times, but I didn't notice my makeup lasting any longer. It didn't make my face like dewy and fresh and yummy. <laughs> it just wet my face and honestly, for a Dior product, I just don't think it's worth it. Okay, I went through two different dry shampoos and I honestly love them both equally. I honestly think these have become my top two favorite dry shampoos when it comes to like a high-end dry shampoo. My favorite one from the drugstore will always be Batiste, but the Chlorine Detox Dry Shampoo is so, so good. I feel like it really cleans my hair. It soaks up all the oils and it makes my hair look fresh and nice and not powdery or gross. Honestly, in a dry shampoo, I'm just looking for my hair to go from oily to not oily and not every dry shampoo really soaks up the oil and makes your hair look clean honestly i'll use some dry shampoos and i'm like what the hell did that even do and that does not happen with these two i honestly don't know which one i like more maybe the bumble and bumble prep to powder dry shampoo i think this one smells a little bit nicer so that's why i like it a little bit more but these are both really really great dry shampoos i highly recommend them next time you're shopping at sephora i went through some candles i, I mean i went through a bunch of candles <laughs> i honestly just remembered to throw these in the bag i want to do that more often i love candles and i love talking about all the candles I use up. But this is the Dyad Dark and Stormy candle. I love Dyad candles. They're really, really great. They make your whole room smell so yummy and wonderful awesome candles and dark and stormy is definitely one of my favorites and then of course you guys know i love forever mood candles and left on red is the best forever mood candle to ever exist seriously like i've tried all of them and this one is still i know it's a bold statement but this might be my favorite candle of all time like this smells so freaking good it reminds me of bath and body works gelato which is my favorite bath and body works candle ever did i get 
stuff on my nose. But seriously, this candle is amazing. I've gone through so many of them and I highly recommend Forever Mood. Okay, let's go through the Briogeo stuff because, you know, Mama loves her Briogeo. I've gone through like three of these. This is the uh, Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. This is my favorite shampoo to use when I want to exfoliate my scalp. Whenever I want to like refresh the scalp or I'm feeling really itchy or I just need that deep, deep cleanse, I love this shampoo for that because it has like the little exfoliating properties. It's also very cooling on the scalp, so it feels really, really nice while you're washing your hair. I love this. And then of course, their Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask is one of my favorite it uh, deep conditioning masks of all time. Seriously, so, so good. Also great for you if you have curly hair. There are no silicones, no sulfates, no parabens, none of that stuff. Really great ingredients and it makes your hair soft, soft as butter. I also really loved this hair mask that they came out with. This was their avocado and kiwi mega moisture superfood mask. This was really great too. It smelled incredible. Like, oh my, oh my God, so good. Like kiwis and such a tropical yummy, like the perfect hair mask, but it was also really great. It made my hair really soft, but I do prefer the don't despair repair hair mask. That one just makes my hair a little softer, a little, a little better. I don't know, but this one was great too. <laughs> oh my God, I do not like this. I am getting rid of this. I'm not even giving this away. I am so sorry. I love the brand Kosas. Their stuff is really great. A lot of the stuff I've tried, I really, really love. But this is their Kosas Sport. Serene Clean Chemistry AHA Serum Deodorant. I do not like this. I love testing out aluminum-free deodorants. I'm like... Obviously, I'm scared of everything in life, but I'm like really scared of like, I don't even like to say it. I have backed myself into a corner here and now I don't, my brain is. Um, my grandma passed away from breast cancer. Her sister had breast cancer. A couple years ago, I had to get a biopsy done on my boob because they like found something in my boob and they had to remove stuff and test it. So I'm like a little bit crazy about breast cancer. And so I try not to use deodorants with aluminum because that's like tied to cancer, you know. I mean, what isn't tied to cancer, but you know, I do what I can and so I I use more natural deodorants all the time and, and I love testing out new ones. This one did not work on my smelly ass. It did not work. I thought I was really gonna love it. I love the idea of having this like cool little ball like as you rub it on, it's like nice and cold. But like there's something about the residue on this that feels so weird in your armpit. I just don't like the film it creates. It's bizarre, at least on me. And I don't think it keeps me like fresh you know, all day. I feel like I get a stinky, like very, very quickly. It just, it doesn't keep, doesn't keep the bad sense away. I'm gonna have to give this one a big thumbs down. I'm not gonna lie. Now, natives. Oh, wait, these are the, <laughs> this is my favorite freaking deodorant brand. Where's the other one? I've gone through so many of these deodorants. Dude, I literally just had two minis in here like five minutes ago. Okay, really weird. Marisu is playing tricks on me. <laughs> oh, here's one. I literally don't know where the other one is, but anyway, this is the deodorant I keep going through. I've gone through like five of these, um, especially this scent. This is my favorite scent. I've tried a bunch of them, but coconut and vanilla is hands down my favorite. For some reason, this is the scent that keeps me freshest longest. Did I say that right? Like it keeps me smelling good longer than any of their other scents, but I would say all of them are pretty good across the board. I have vanilla and sandalwood here. Not as good as coconut and vanilla, but also really nice. I literally love these minis so much because you can just throw these in your purse and just like reapply in the bathroom throughout the day. Seriously, little lifesavers, you need to invest in these. And they just recently came out with plastic-free deodorants. The one that I'm currently using right now is plastic-free, so it comes in different packaging. That packaging is a little bit tricky you're not gonna lie like it's made out of cardboard so it gets a little bit loose on the bottom but it's nice because it's plastic free so why not I love native I will continue to go back to them and I just heard I was watching a Stephanie Harlow video the other day and native sponsored her video which yes girl get that coin natives holla at me I love you <laughs> this is not sponsored by natives but I'm saying I was watching her video and native just recently came out with SPFs I need to go buy like five of them I love SPF so I'm dying to try the native one but anyway I've gone through a ton of these deodorants they are my favorite natural aluminum free deodorants you need them i went through a couple perfumes i feel like i've 
gone through more. I, I Sometimes I forget to throw things in this bag. I'm not even kidding. But the original Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo is one of my favorite perfumes of all time. It seriously smells so sexy, so intoxicating, and it lasts forever on the skin. Of course, I would repurchase. In fact, I already did. And then I also went through, I, I think I have like two sprays left. I went through the Versace Dylan Blue perfume. I really love this in the springtime. It's such a beautiful, like romantic spring scent. There's something about it that's so inviting and warm and like nurturing. I just, I wanna hug the person wearing this and I just wanna like embrace in their neck, you know? It's a really, really great perfume. I love this. And I haven't repurchased yet, but I mean, Mama's got a lot of perfumes. I need to go through a couple more, but I definitely would repurchase it. It's really good. Oh, another Briogeo product. This is the Be Kind, Be Gentle, Banana and Coconut Nourishing Superfood Conditioner. I also went through the shampoo, but it's not in here. I don't know why. If you're not a banana scent fan, you're gonna hate this because this is a banana smoothie and it really does linger in your hair. Like when I'm done washing my hair, I really smell the banana, it's incredible. I really, really enjoyed it, made my hair super soft. It's really yummy. I haven't repurchased it, but I definitely would. Oh my God. The Glow Recipe Pineapple Sea Bright Serum, literally one of my favorite serums of all time. Such a good skincare product. Smells like dog piss, like I've said a hundred times. I literally hate the scent of this. It might even be too strong for some of you, like, wow, this smells so bad, I can't put it on my face. But it does wonders for my skin, which is crazy because I haven't repurchased it yet because, I mean, I've been trying so many different skincare products thanks to Skincare by Hiram, so I'm going through a bunch of different things at the moment. But I definitely will be repurchasing this. I love, love, love this serum. I actually have one, I have a little bit left. I have like a few pumps in there, but it's seriously so good. It really does brighten the skin, it makes it look smoother. I don't know, it's just like a pick-me-up for your skin. Good stuff, good stuff. I've gone through, I think, two of these Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue con Concealers. I love this concealer so, so much. It's very thick and it covers a lot, but it's not too drying or cakey. It blends so nicely, but it like lasts all day. Like I said, the coverage is really, really great. It's a very good, fresh, full coverage concealer, which I really like. I am giving away I'm giving away the Revlon Colorstay Light Cover Foundation, which is a bummer because the Revlon Colorstay Foundation is one of my favorite foundations from the drugstore of all time. I have such a like soft spot in my heart for that foundation because it was the first foundation I ever tried. And so I thought, oh my God, a light coverage version of the Colorstay, how amazing. This is gonna be wonderful, like a tinted moisturizer almost, but like a long wearing one. It's gonna be fresh and fabulous and no, no, no. It was neither of those things. It was very patchy on my skin. It almost made my skin look even drier. I don't know, it personally did not work for me at all. I cannot get it to work at all. So I am giving it away to my friend, see if it, works better for her. It's just no it's just not good on my skin. And let me tell you, neither is the Makeup Forever Water Tone Foundation. This is brand new. It just came out and I was very excited to try this because the Makeup Forever Face and Body Foundation is my favorite foundation of all time. And then they went ahead and crushed my soul and discontinued it. I don't know why they would do that to me, but they did. And a couple years later, they came out with the Water Blend Foundation. It was kind of like their dupe for the face and body, but it was not a dupe. It just wasn't the same. It wasn't as good. It really wasn't. And then I think that one even got discontinued, and now they replaced it with the Water Tone Foundation. And it's nice. I like using it mixed in with other foundations, but on its own, I do not like it. It's not as good as the face and body. It's like splotchy. It has... In my opinion, at least on my skin, of course, it has the same issue the water blend had where the color will look a little bit uneven in certain spots of my face. Like I'll just look at my face and it'll look darker here around my chin. Like if it oxidized in certain areas of my face but not in other parts, so, so weird. And it just looked uneven, patchy. I don't know, I don't, I don't like it and I'm sorry. I love um, Makeup Forever foundations and this is just not it for me. My, my humble opinion. The Not Your Mother's Curl Talk range is really amazing if you're looking for curly girl products at the drugstore. I have really loved almost everything that I've tried out from this brand, especially these two products. I think these are my top favorite Curl Talk products. The Curl Activating Mousse is so amazing. Literally like my favorite mousse at the drugstore, hands down. I think this is my favorite mousse ever. It makes my curls look so freaking beautiful and it has a really good hold but it's not crunchy. Highly 
recommend if you're looking for a mousse for your curls. And I also really love the Curl Care Shampoo. It cleans my hair really, really well without stripping it. It just feels really nice. It smells good. I really like this. Let's talk about some skincare. I love Thrive Cosmetics skincare. I use so many of their products. Seriously, one of my favorite skincare brands of all time. I went through their Defying Gravity Eye Lifting Cream. It was a really, really good cream. Honestly, not amazing, not groundbreaking. It wasn't an eye cream I used that I was like, oh my gosh, I can see such a difference on my under eyes. It was nice. It was hydrating. It did the job. It just wasn't out of this world amazing. I don't know if I would run and purchase that because I mean this was sent to me but of course that doesn't sway my opinion at all. It wasn't amazing but it was good. I did however really really like the Defying Gravity Transforming Moisturizer. I found it to be super hydrating. I like how my skin looked in the morning. I like that it has face lifting complex. I don't know if it was really doing anything but you know it's like that placebo thing. My mind was telling me I was looking younger so I was, <laughs> but it was nice. I would definitely purchase this. It was super hydrating. I like how it made my skin feel and I liked it. I also really liked the Bright Balance 3-in-1 Cleanser. I found that it was really gentle on my super, super dry skin. It wasn't stripping at all. Really nice and foamy, but not like too much. I liked it. Really good. Oh, another native product I went through. I have like a little bit of this left, but this is the Native Candy Cane Body Wash. And honestly, I am just so over this scent already <laughs> because it's very, very Christmassy and we're like hitting summer at the moment. But it was a really nice body wash. Super sudsy, very, very soapy. I liked that it was like nice and bubbly and it felt like it was really cleaning my body. It wasn't stripping or anything, like my skin didn't feel dry at all, but it did really clean my skin, which is nice. I'm usually used to things that are a little bit more moisturizing, like more oily in the shower, but this was a really good like soapy body wash. And I would definitely buy it, buy it again. Maybe not that scent, but I'm open to trying out another one for sure. Oh my gosh, do you remember this? I don't know why I put it in here if I wasn't completely done with this, but this is the Farsali Liquid Glass Radiance Make Skin Serum with Hyaluronic Acid. I loved this freaking primer. I need to buy it again because it was one of my favorites. I was using it like every single day. It makes your skin so glass-like and moisturized and like oily and dewy, but not like too oily and greasy. It's seriously beautiful. I love this underneath my makeup and I definitely, definitely need to repurchase. I went through the Tatcha Rice Wash. This is a soft cream cleanser and it was nice. I do think when it comes to cleansers, you don't really need to buy anything that's so pricey and Tatcha is a very pricey brand. So I don't think I will be repurchasing this. I don't know if it's necessarily worth the money, even though it is really good cleans my face, it's amazing. A face wash is on your face for like 3.5 seconds. I would rather invest in an expensive like nighttime moisturizer that is on your face for like seven hours and it's like penetrating the skin and it's like really doing something versus a face wash that you're just like, you know, using for like five seconds. There's so many really amazing face washes at the drugstore. The Vanna Cream is my favorite face wash. So gentle, extremely effective. So. I look at something like this and I'm like, oh, you know, like it's not necessary, I don't need it, but I did enjoy it, it's nice, you know? Yeah. <laughs> this I really, really loved and I definitely need to get my hands on another one. I need to buy the 4th Ray Rainfall 2% Hyaluronic Acid Serum. This is just like a strict, simple hyaluronic acid serum. It was so hydrating on the skin, it's just a really, really good serum and super, super affordable. This 4th Ray brand is like the ColourPop sister brand. It's their skincare brand and I have tried a ton of their stuff and their Rainfall Serum is my favorite product they have. So, so good, really hydrating. It makes my skin feel awesome. And then last but not least, I have gone through like three of these Glossier Brow Flicks. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite brow product. I will not go back to a brow pencil. I don't even have a brow pencil in this bag, which I mean is shocking because I've had things sitting in here for a hot, hot, hot minute, but I just don't ever see myself using a brow pencil again. This makes the most realistic brow hairs. I love it. I get that bushy, feathery brow without looking too artificial. It's just so natural and amazing, and when you get the hang of this, you will never look back. It is the best. The best. Oh, I also have the Bretman Rock what a wild bad bitch lift mascara in here. I'm so sad that this was limited edition because it's one of the best mascaras I've ever freaking used. And the fact that it was a drugstore mascara was just the cherry on top. It's 
Besitos, I love this mascara. I would love it if they did like a round two and re-released it because it's just so good. I was so sad the day that I had to get rid of it because it was incredible. Okay guys, that's it. Those were all the products I've gone through in many, many months. Definitely let me know if you want me to keep doing these. I decided to sprinkle in some products I was getting rid of as well. I didn't add too many of them, but let me know if you would like me to do a like crap products slash empties video more often, like things that I not only used up, but I'm getting rid of as well. And I will definitely do that more often if it is something you're interested in, so just let me know. But that completes this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you so, so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my my next video. Bye! Honestly, it's not that this product wasn't great. It's just I have other face mist. Oh my god, that motorcycle scared the shit out of me!